Hey, this is Chris with the Colorado Avalanche Information Center, and we're here touring uh, above Coal Bank Pass in the southern San Juan zone here on the last day of 2018. This morning we issued an avalanche watch for the entire San Juan Mountains. With upwards of possibly two feet of snow, maybe locally higher amounts in some places that's forecasted to fall in a weak snowpack. What we're finding is about eight inches of really low density cohesionless snow that's fallen since last night. As you can see, it's really light, fluffy, borderline cold smoke. So right here in this wind sheltered area, it's not, it's not forming into a cohesive slab, but we'll need to keep an eye on this as we move higher in elevation, get to some more open slopes that might be more prone to wind loading and wind drifting, and see if this turns into more of a cohesive storm slab and could have more of an impact on some buried weak layers. So we've now climbed up here to right about tree line on a northeast aspect and we're just not seeing the influence of wind loading and stiffening of this new snow that we were sort of anticipating. Winds here have been overall light, a few moderate gusts right up on the ridge line, but it's not causing this sat slab to become, want to become super stiff as you can see it's super light and fluffy. We have about 15 inches of snow that's fallen since Christmas Eve. This top 10 inches totals about a half an inch of water. So we have just a really light, soft slab sitting over weaker, poor structure, large grain facets below. So for now, we just don't have enough of a cohesive slab in this part of the Southern San Juans over these weaker layers to see natural and human triggered avalanches. Over the next 12 to 24, maybe 36 hours. Forecast is calling for the heavy snow, additional load on top of this. So we'll just need to keep an eye out and see if this slab gets deep enough, thick enough, heavy enough to help want to communicate failures within these weaker layers.